everybody. Luna, get out of the camera. Jesus. You're one busybody today. So today we're going to be doing a day in our life. Luna, relax. I actually have um, a good amount of stuff to do today, so I figured why not bring you guys along. So before you go ahead and watch this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, so yeah, today we have a good amount of things that we need to get done. Um, so far this morning, I've gotten up. Obviously, of course, we brushed our teeth, washed the dishes, and now, unfortunately, we are about to fold the clothes. I hate folding clothes. Cameron doesn't like folding clothes. So I fold the clothes. And we've been really busy, so like, these clothes have piled up and now it's like a lot of clothes to fold and I'm regretting it. Y'all look at my cats. They're not slick. They're not. Hey, be nice to each other. But yeah, so that's the plan for right now. We're about to just start folding clothes. Y'all are going in. But yeah, so we're going to get into folding these clothes first. Um, honestly, it's probably going to take me about a good 45 minutes to probably get through all of these clothes for the both of us. So, I usually like to get the smaller stuff out of the way first because I feel like that definitely takes a load off the pile itself. That's just me though. I'm really looking forward to today. I hope we get a lot done. But nevertheless, even if we don't, like even let's just say we got one thing done, like it's still gonna be fun. Like, cause the people are fun, the vibes are always fun. Like the energy's great. So it's honestly, it just like goes hand in hand regardless. So honestly, like nothing can go wrong. <sighs> I don't know what kind of moisturize that everybody else uses, but the moisturizer that I use is Clean and Clear. Every, if you haven't seen it, if you have, you know, from Walmart, they got the goodies. Okay, my nose is burnt. You probably can't see it that well, but like my nose looks like it's like chapped because it's just out of pocket from whenever we went tanning. Not tanning, whenever we went tubing. Well, whenever we went to go float the river, Jesus. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this show on the road today. Oh, and another thing, I, I need to ask because so what's supposed to go first mouthwash and then toothpaste or toothpaste and then mouthwash because for the longest i was doing toothpaste and then mouthwash because i was just like if you brush your teeth and then you put the mouthwash in your mouth like doesn't that give you like extra protection and like extra fresh freshness versus people would tell me no like you're supposed to do the mouthwash first because it cleans your mouth out gets things that your toothbrush can't and then your toothbrush will basically go and like do the do pick up the debris kind of so today i did the mouthwash and then the toothpaste not gonna lie my mouth tastes refreshed don't get me wrong it always does but like it's a different type of refresh i don't know how to explain it if anybody wants to answer that just take the time and put that at the bottom because i'm just curious i don't know if i'm supposed to be worried right now or if i'm just supposed to like let this happen <laughs> they're hilarious so Mushroom is the boy and Luna is the girl. Mushroom's declawed. Lena, Luna is not declawed. However, I got Mushroom declawed because I wasn't that educated, unfortunately, on the clawing and like how it affects the cats and things of that nature. When I first got Mushroom, he ruined a leather couch that I had and it just drawed me to take off his claws. But I've learned now and Luna has her claws. So when they fight, I get scared, but I forget that Mushroom doesn't have claws. So even if he was trying to be aggressive, Luna wouldn't know the difference because he doesn't have no claws. <laughs> this bikini I got, I got it from, I think I got it from Walmart because I needed one. I was like a last minute thing. I don't remember where we were at, but it was so cute. It was like the little, little Texas and then on the back, it says Texas. Cute, right? <laughs> I think the most tedious thing about putting up clothes is the fact that half of them are like all inside out. So you gotta like reflip them out, you gotta button the buttons back up, you gotta zip them back up, you gotta zip the zippers up, and then you gotta back door and end up hanging them all up, and it's just a lot. Alright, we got everything done. Now I just gotta go and put all of this up. Or, yeah. 
I was honestly wrong. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer, but hey, we made progress really fast. All right. So now I'm about to just go like sort all of this out and then put it where basically it needs to go. I know all of that goes on the other side of my dresser. In my closet, I try to keep everything like color coded and organized. I was actually my best. My workout drawer is now officially starting to get like too packed, which is a good thing because that means I'm utilizing my working out and I'm also using all of the clothes that's in there. I'm probably going to go through it sometime soon and like get rid of the stuff that I probably don't want because like look how packed it is in here. Like it's over and these drawers are deep. Like it super deep. And it's all packed. I mean, I probably could organize it a little bit better too and I have socks on this side, but still, girl. Mm -mm. That's a hot mess right now. A really hot mess. All of these things go on my side of the bed. Because I have a dresser right here. The top dresser is for... I have separators in here for them to where I have them organized. I need to fix it, so... I need to fix that because that's definitely not okay. So, we're probably just going to go ahead and like fix it right now. Because I like to keep everything like in one place, keeping it clean and organized. And it just makes me feel organized. It makes me feel clean. It makes me feel like I got my life together. Even if I really don't, hey, fake it till you make it. Like a little crate, you see? And it like keeps them like in place. I think it's cute. And then there's a little thing like this. It's like in the middle. And I, uh, that's that, that was in the middle between those. And I stick that in the middle and then I get my underpants and I put them in each pocket individually because it wasn't enough space. So the second drawer is like this. The second drawer I have all of underpants and their little cubbies. And so I have them organized like this, but it's just because I couldn't fit the other um, underpants one in here. Like if I had to, I would like have to like push it back and put it right here, but then that's gonna leave space in. But you know what? Yeah, no, I don't like it. Cause I like leaving them like pulled up like this. It's like more convenient. It looks nicer to the eye, at least to mine. So the fact that my cats just think that this is a hotel and they're about to be just be laid up and cuddling, paying no rent, eating all the food. Like what is going on here? <laughs> So now that I done finished doing the laundry, finished doing the laundry, I washed the dishes, I cleaned up, everything's in place. Right now, everything that's not in place is because right now Cameron is working, so he's filming, so he has like his stuff out right now. So he's like using this area, but like outside of that, I did everything that was I was supposed to do. Those are leftovers for us to eat later today, so I'm not gonna touch that. And then this is like Cameron's studio over here. It's a work in progress, you know. If it's not dirty, are they really working? Look at this, he has these like pictures of like, his siblings right here, and then me and my cousins, we went out, and then these pictures of us that we went to the color factory, him and his best friends, and then my little picture that I had for college graduation. And then he has like these cool little pictures on the wall. This one was me for my birthday. I believe I was turning 19. And I had like a little photo shoot. This is like one of the first pictures that he was taking whenever he first started his journey. So I think that's pretty cool. And then this was one of the, my favorite photos from a Valentine's Day shoot that we did last year. Super duper cute. If you haven't checked out my Valentine's Day video, go check out that one because that was really cute. Cameron did probably one of the cutest things that any guy has ever done that I know. So, if you haven't saw that video, go look at it. I like to do better. <laughs> Much appreciated. It was super duper cute. That's all I gotta say. Can you make sure uh, I'm in the frame for this? Of course I can. Thank you. So, basically, it, it's a close up mm -hmm. of the shirts. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm trying to get is just the neck. 
down to like right here. So neck waist. Yeah, and I want you to still be able to see like my sleeves or arms. Sleeves or arms. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is all right here. Yep, solid. All right, perfect. I think Can you so. record for me? Yeah. Let's. Oops. You're not in the mirror? I am, but I'm about to move, and I'm just making sure that your neck... Okay, so you can see like this, like literally right here, not your full neck. That's perfect. Good? Okay. Yeah. Well, then, yep, yeah, we're good. Can I still Thank be... You. Can I still talk? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're welcome. But yeah, so that's that. I'm not going to tell you what we're doing today because obviously that takes away from y'all watching. So, but this is literally about to be as realistic as possible. Right now, so whenever Cameron's done, I'm assuming we're going to the gym, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you're done, yeah. So I know I shouldn't be drinking Pepsi before I go to the gym, but I'm drinking Pepsi. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm being realistic. This is real. This is very realistic, you know. I'm not gonna lie. You're funny, but it's funny because I'm drinking. I'm drinking an icy, and I'm drinking a Sprite. You see, look, he's no better. So yeah. However, when I go, I'm going to the gym, of course, I'm going to have my water bottle, so. And I'm still going to bring my Sprite. You better not bring no Sprite to the gym. <laughs> Y'all like my shirt? It says Anaka Power. Cameron got it for me. It's cool. It's code Styles. I was about to say, yeah, use Code Styles if you want a discount off. Ladies and gents. Code Styles. S-T-Y-L-E-Z. Wait, it's a Z, right? Not an S? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure they didn't like change it. Because he has a Z and some people try to change it to an S. Mm -mm. We're not doing that over here. We're Z. Z for... Zalafinakis. Zalafinakis. What is that? It's someone's name. <laughs> but yeah. So, I guess while Cameron's doing this, I'm about to go... Actually, I need to go in the washroom and check the clothes. Now, like, I'm going to bring y'all with me in there, but don't nobody judge me, please, because I never got to finish decorating it the way that I wanted to. And, but for the most part, though, I feel like it's pretty, pretty good. Okay, so. So, let me, actually, let me show y'all. Who cares? So, as soon as you walk into the, um, this is the mud room, the little light switch is right here. So we have our luggages and stuff right here. All of the cat necessities are underneath there. This is like tools in case we need like repairs or something in the house. This is like, uh, this is like padding and stuff. Cleaning materials, I'm so sorry. This is like extra, like candles, <clears throat> batteries, soap and stuff to wash. Right now I have this blanket washing. That's the dryer up there. And then we have like this little cart, so whenever we go grocery shopping, we don't have to carry it because it's super duper convenient. And then this little thing right here, I need to wash our cat's bag. There's some towels underneath there, and I think that's about it. But right now, it's going in, and we have about 49 more minutes. So, that's that for now. Are, are you licking him? Oh, she's licking herself. I was about to say, girl. No, ma'am. I already had picked out my stuff for the gym earlier because I was also making a TikTok for today. So, let me show you what I'm wearing to the gym. So, my hair, we're not friends. We don't get along. We have a really awkward relationship. So, we're going to start off with a hat. It's like a black Houston hat. Go Houston Astros. And then, we're going to uh, go in today with our Nike with our Nike sports bra. And then, yes, I'm mixing brands today, so nobody come for me. And then I'm also gonna, I'm gonna do my Gymshark biker shorts. And then of course, we need our socks. And then on top of the socks, I just got these new squatting shoes and I, I am completely in love with them. So we're gonna go in and pair it with our, what do you call these, blazers? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but I like getting dressed in my closet. I get a kick out of it. I don't know why. I just enjoy getting it in my closet. So, let's go. I think for the hair today, we're going to brush it out. Because this is not it. I got this really cute brush from Target. Like, look how cute that is. So cute. If it's, I wonder if it's cuter if I like leave it like this so the ponytail's like not going through the hole or if I should put it through the hole. 
I think we're gonna put it through the hole and see how that looks. Let's, let's see. Yeah, definitely through the hole is a whole lot better. <laughs> we're gonna leave it like that because yeah, girl. And of course, we cannot forget our deodorant because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> and this is gonna be the outfit checks for the gym. Nice, nice. <laughs> The only thing I gotta grab is my headphones, but other than that, ready to go. Is it, is it late day for you? Um, no, since I missed it, I'm just gonna start all the way over from upper. I'm not even gonna do that to myself. Oh, I'm alright, but take you like day six. Yeah, so today's upper for me. For my <laughs> There's lower. Lower? Nice. I'm too excited. I'm so excited. Uh, gotta get big, right? Alright, I'll see you in the gym. Alright, so thankfully today we are. We have the gym to ourselves today. This doesn't happen a lot. It probably happens maybe like two times out of the month. And then usually if not, somebody's either getting in here or about five minutes of us being in here, somebody walks in here. So if they do, they Bye. might. But um, today's workout really just consists of like shoulder press, hip thrusts, chest press, seated rows, dumbbells, squats and machine leg press so today's kind of like a mixture of like legs and arms kind of i've been out of the gym for like almost a week now so i'm definitely gonna feel it today after this but yeah let's go for about an hour and 30 to 45 minutes and his workouts are basically set up to where he works out 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes every time he comes every day so it kind of like balances out but that's how it's set up so usually he'll finish before me and he'll either like stay with me until I'm done or he'll like go upstairs because I basically have like two things left <laughs> and um, so yeah this is usually how it goes because he was getting tired of being in the gym and staying in here for long periods of time. Don't get me wrong, I don't like it neither, but I'd rather have a three-day split than having to sh stress about going every single day, you know? Because throughout the week, we're really busy. We're either filming content, we're out, we're doing something with family, or we have a project that has to be done, or whatever the case is. So it's not like we're just ever sitting and like not doing anything, you know? So this gym at our apartment complex, like it doesn't have a lot of equipment and like some of the equipment that like we do have like some of it like doesn't even work properly so we like basically just we make the best out of it if I'm being honest with you but you know beggars can't be choosers there's this gym that we really want to get a membership at but like it's just like really expensive it's like ba almost like 90 to 100 dollars a month but it's just like they don't have a sauna they don't even have a pool it's just a lot of equipment and it's like really just a lot of space there and I just can't wrap my head around paying for something that doesn't like have a sauna you don't have a pool you know it's just to me like the math doesn't math but yeah but right now the, we're on my, I'm on my last set we're doing um cable seated rows this isn't really the proper way how to do them but like I said we don't have a lot of equipment in here so we may do what we have <laughs> So 
like the way that I'm feeling right now, I just want to go ahead and get the squats out of the way because squats make me extremely tired. <laughs> extremely tired. And I just like getting them out of the way. So, you know, we're just going to go ahead and get the squats out of the way today because, yeah. So, it has to be like the elevated split squats. So, I have like this little thing right here on the floor. We're going to use the 25 pound weight. So like, and for these, it's gonna be three sets of 15, so let's get to it. Doing the squats are probably my least favorite thing, and half of the time, I feel like I'm doing them wrong anyways, but when it gets my heart beating like this, to where I feel like I can't breathe, I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> but, all right, so next we have barbell hip thrust. I have this um, foam right here. It's like extra protection basically for your hips so it doesn't hurt because the weight's so heavy. and the bar like sometimes like it'll literally like press against your hips like so hard to the fact to where it'll leave you like marks if you don't have like the correct padding or at least enough padding which is why half the time i'm afraid to go up on weight because it hurts so it's not the fact that i can't lift it because i can it's just like it hurts so bad and it's pressing on your hips it's just like you're not even enjoying the workout at that point because it's just, like you're harming yourself trying to do it you know so it's important to have the foam to protect you from hurting yourself but yeah so we're gonna go in with the hip thrust uh, usually I do um, three sets of 10 and last the last time I did this I was at 210 pounds so since I didn't go up last time on weight and I was supposed to we're just gonna go ahead and bump it up today to 225 so we're gonna add an extra uh, 15 pounds onto what we originally already had so let's see how this goes gym workout for today. Little mild, simple, nothing too crazy. I'm tired. Lucky hungry. A salad sounds really good right now. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. that's why you said that's why what? He's fat, that's why. Alright, so now that we're back in the apartment, so what the plan is now, we're about to get dressed. I say we're about to get dressed I'm about to get dressed and I'm going to take a shower because I was just sweating in the gym and then we're gonna get ready well I'm gonna get ready camera's gonna change it's gonna be waiting on me to get out of the shower so we can go to the next destination camera doesn't like whenever I wear makeup a lot he always says, you don't need makeup, don't put on any makeup, just go n natural. He calls it naked face nine. I'm not taking my hat off because y'all not about to see what this looks like. But, yeah. So, we're about to take a shower and we're going to get ready to go out. So, I'll see you whenever I get out of the shower. Alright, we are now out of the shower. So, oh. Today, like, cozy day, I guess, according to Cameron. So, 
We're gonna put on like some comfortable chill clothes because where we're going is like really chill. So yeah, those are the vibes for today. Y'all see my tan line? Y'all see how crazy that is? That's ridiculous. Okay, now after spending like 20 minutes on figuring out what I wanted to wear today so I can match the vibes, you know, I finally came to a conclusion. So I knew factually I wanted to wear my glasses today, but these aren't just like uh, style glasses. These are uh, glasses that are good for looking at the screen for like a really long time and like so your eyes don't start to hurt. So I knew I wanted to wear these. And like, don't get me wrong, yes, they are black, but there's some stuff that just doesn't look good with other stuff. So I had to find something that I was comfortable with for today. So. Okay. Okay. So for starters, we're just going to go ahead and go in with these shorts right here that I've got. I think these are cute and they're stretchy, so... And where we're going is definitely a vibe, so it'll be okay. Then I'm going to pair it with this white shirt right here. It's like a white crop top. Then with the white crop top, I'm going to also pair it with these. Oops. I'm going to pair with these shoes right here. And these are from Steve Madden. I think these are so cute. My boyfriend does not like these at all. He's just like, but me, one thing about me, I'm going to wear it. So, and then to pair it together, I'm also going to wear this hat with it. Because like I said, I'm putting... Dry shampoo in my hair, so doing the hat is like the hairstyle. And then, of course, we got the shades. And then, and then I'm just gonna like throw it in with my, you know, I can't even see it, with this uh, watch that I have, really cute watch. I have a gold necklace, it's a C. And then I also have these gold earrings. So, let's let's get ready. All right, now for the hair. Let's go ahead and see how this is about to look. I'm gonna do a ponytail through the hole, or if I'm gonna do a bun through the hole, we're gonna see. Cute little baseball cap. Mm, probably ponytail, because if I do a bun, it's like giving like, really loud but then again but it's really cute mm. Mm. okay all right all right i was able to figure it out mm. okay so i'm definitely thinking that the ponytail is cute you know but i'm not gonna lie girl i'm feeling the bun because lounge you know chill comfortable so we're gonna go with the bun, like the messy bun, okay? So it's gonna be like a put up bun, so I can make that a little tighter, hold on. Cause that was real loose, that was like too loose. This hair tie is not that tight though neither. Okay, this one's, have a second one, that one's better. Let's try that one. So we can, okay. Okay, yeah, we could do this bun instead. Well, the little piece of rabbit because like, why are you trying to... That little piece of hair wanted the center of attention. Okay, this is cute. We could go with this. Okay, cool, cool. We're getting somewhere. Now, let's see if these glasses work, okay? With the outfit. You know what? I'm a dang on genius. All right, we're just gonna do a fast fit check before we head out. So this is how it came out. I think it came together well. For the most part, not too bad at all. So right now we are going to- I knew it, I knew this was West Timer. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is West Timer. You didn't know that? Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Or is it a surprise? Or is it just one of those things like now I just watch? Like don't ask watch. me questions. Understood. We that we had that happens to us a lot because I ask a lot of questions. I'm a very curious person and I'm also really nosy. So I You're ask impatient. I'm not impatient. 
I can be impatient, but I want to just say I'm impatient. But I ask a lot of questions because I'm I'm curious and I just I just like to know. So he's not like that. He's more of oh I know where we're going. We're going to Jason's Deli. I went to Jason's Deli. He thinks I'm gross. I think I'm not. So, but yeah. So. <laughs> What? Oh, funny. He thinks I'm gross. I think I'm not. <laughs> You're so, we're about to come in here, or I'm at least gonna go in there and get what I want, and then, cause nine times out of 10, he's not going to. Hey, look, there's a telephone um, box. Box, I consider it a box. I'm just like, what do you know at this point? Oh, okay. So yeah, but I'm about to come in here and get something. I highly doubt he is, so we're probably just gonna come here for me and then go probably somewhere like Burger King or something lame like that for him. Burger King's not lame. That's just basic, you, you know? right on the nose. I was gonna go to Burger King. I know you see. Not anymore see. though, I'm not gonna go now. <laughs> I refuse to let you have that. You're funny, well, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this. Go to McDonald's. Yummy, yummy. Wendy's. Wendy's? Yeah, you look like a four for four individual. That was our first day, stop playing. That was not our first day. <laughs> we got high on. Oh. Are you not gonna get anything from here, bro? I don't think so. All right. This place is depressing. It is not. What do you think that one's for? That's his copy. What do you think this is like? Wild berry. Pour it and find out. You're right. I don't have no flavor to it. Like, not even a little. I don't have no flavor. It's not a good person. So, we got our food. We ended up getting like a, oh, not a salad. Not today. Um, we ended up getting like pasta. I like their meatballs are really, really, really good. So, yes, can I have the number eight, please? Number eight, you want regular space? I'm sorry? You want the regular space? Uh, regular. Regular, okay, for the cream? Uh, with no sour cream, please. And for the cream? Uh, do y'all have Sprite? Do y'all have Starry? Starry? I'll do Starry, a large Starry. And then can I get two chicken ch uh, chalupa supremes? Two chicken chalupa supremes? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Get some sweet cinnamon twist. And then can I get the the Mexican pizza? Okay. I mean, Ben. So sound. So those things are nasty. They are good. Get them. And then a uh, cinnamon twist, and that'll be all. You didn't get nothing to drink. Oh, yeah, you did. No, that'll be all. Thank you. Did you just say that cinnamon twists are gross? They are. Oh my gosh. So that's the one who literally was drinking a, supposed to be icy from the gas station last night and it literally tasted like diabetes in a cup. I'm not joking. It literally tasted like all of the syrup that was supposed to be put into the machine was just right at the tip whenever you let it out. That's exactly what it tasted like. And you know what? He drunk the whole thing in like less than 15 minutes. And he had one of those, was it a 44 ounce cup? Yeah, it was a 44 ounce cup. Y'all know how big those are from the gas station. They're huge. He didn't put no ice in there. Gone in less than 15 minutes. And you would've called me nasty? And he just, and he's at Taco Bell, but he wants to call me nasty. You like Taco Bell? What are you talking about? Well, you know I don't like your name. You asked me for the cinnamon twist. <laughs> How would you know what cinnamon twists are if you didn't like Taco Bell? No, I love Taco Bell. There's nothing wrong with Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. I like eating their, um, I think it's called a, a, I don't even know. I haven't been here in uh, so long, but it's basically like Chipotle. It's like a mixture of like meat, rice, lettuce, beans. It's like all like mixed together. It's really good, so. I get that. There's nothing wrong with Taco Bell. He just ordered like six things. And you know what? I'm glad because one of those are mine. 
one of those are mine. When I get it on camera, that's it. That, that's it. Okay, so I literally just, I put my food in my bag because I wasn't able to carry it with my drink and everything, but we just made it to the coffee shop right now. So I hope it's not packed in here. It's really super duper hot. Jeez Louise. So yeah, it's a cute little place. So basically the purpose of us coming to the coffee shop today was because we have a lot of stuff that needs to get edited. Well, I know he has a lot of stuff that he needs to edit. Me, I just have like maybe three or four things. And yeah, so those are the vibes. Those are the vibes. Yeah. I never eat the bread that they give me because I just feel like that's like extra. Like look how good this looks through the plastic. Like this is chef's kiss. She's I've been craving this so bad, but I haven't really said anything because I know Cameron doesn't like Jason's Daily, but it's good. I already ate my cinnamon twist in the car. I was being fat. Mm -hmm. I like this it's really good. It's so good. Those new balls. You said what? Those new balls don't have no business. Being that good? Being that good. It's hard to have no business in balls. But I'm done. So I use like two different apps to edit. Well, I'll just really say one, but I'm like always going back and forth between one and the other. And lately, a lot of people have been saying something about using CapCut to edit, but I don't really like it that much. However, it does have a whole lot more to offer than most apps, and especially the other apps like you have to pay for them. In CapCut, you don't have to. So today, I'm actually going to try and edit with CapCut and give it another shot because the first time that I did do it, I wasn't really a big fan of it just because it didn't have what the app that I was normally used to using, which was VN, and that one, it like showed you the sounds like at the bottom as you're editing so you know exactly where to cut versus on CapCut you have to listen like don't get me wrong I would listen but it was just like a visual thing for me you know so but right now I'm like exporting this video like I started to put it in VN but then I changed my mind because I wanted to give CapCut another shot today so yeah that's what we're about to do I need to get another phone and I need to get like more storage because my storage is so low, so my phone like exports everything like extremely slow. I just love that. For me. I'm trying to hurt myself. Say so what? I'm trying to hurt myself. Today. If it was an emergency, I could. You said if it was an emergency? Yeah. Oh, it's not nice too. wrong with our apartment at all however it's just like you know when you're home you have that homey feeling versus whenever you're out in public sitting down at a different place that's also cozy it's like a different feeling so 
we're coming to this other coffee shop fingers crossed that it's not super duper packed and there's somewhere where we can sit with some outlets <laughs> That's why we left here because he said he needs Wi-Fi. So he wants to go home. Yeah, because this place you gotta pay to get the Wi-Fi. Yeah. They reset their password on the server. Yeah. So now we're going home. So I'll see y'all when I get home. <laughs> Alright you guys, it is now currently 9.38 and we just got home. There's really not much left else for today. Today was a full-blown busy day. Very productive, even though I only got two videos done and Cameron only got two videos done. I got one video. Oh, he only got one video done. I was trying to boost him up. But I, <laughs> I still feel like today was really productive. I feel really good after I go to the gym and then I have stuff to do later that day because then I'm just like, mm, like, yeah, I went to the gym today, you know? But yeah, I think probably right now I'm probably just gonna go change Put on some more comfortable bottoms because these shorts are not that comfortable to sit in. And then I'll probably just airdrop this stuff from the computer. I mean, from the camera memory thingy, the SD card. I have some other stuff on this camera that I need to edit as well. So I'll probably go ahead and do that so it doesn't end up stacking up on me over time. And then I'm going to end up looking crazy because then I'm going to be backed up. Yeah, looking like him. He has like 16, 16 unedited videos just on his computer that he needs to edit. And you know one thing about me, 
I'm not a follower. If I if I do something, I'm do it right. I'm gonna do it right. Exactly. So yeah. So that's just that's just how that's gonna go. And um, yeah. So that's gonna be that. We just got back and. Please don't talk like that on my channel. I would highly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. You know what? You know what? My cat. Why is it so dark in here? Let me turn that on. I don't know where my other cat went. Luna. She's obsessed with Cameron, so that's the thing. But I don't even mind it. This is tonight's vibes, you know? I think probably what I'm about to do is I'm just gonna put on some light music on this, uh, the sound bar over here. We're gonna pull these other um, curtains up. I might make a hookah, probably not. I don't know. Actually, camera makes them better than me. I suck, honestly. There's my other baby. Hiya. <sighs> but yeah, so probably just about to do that. Relax chill and marinate the day and hopefully tomorrow is just as productive as today this definitely was not very eventful like all day like numerous things happening back to back to back like crazy but however i will say i did enjoy today in all honesty so i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you guys watched this video thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and potentially what else y'all want to see or what kind of things would y'all like to see me do or even talk about or not even just me or me and cameron you know i'm really open to anything obviously respectful and things of that nature so yeah that concludes today's day in the life say bye sweet Adios.